Good day everyone. Today's episode will be about digestion of carbohydrates. So what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates such as rice, bread, and others like pasta contains a long polymer molecules. These polymers are called starches or starch. Starch polymers comes in two forms. These are the amylose, which is a linear polysaccharide, and a branched polysaccharide called amylopectin. In order to create those long branches of simple sugars, starches are units of sugars that are bonded by a condensation reaction called a glycosidic bond. When we consume food such as rice and bread or pasta, our salivary glands contain alpha amylase enzymes which catalyze the hydrolysis reaction. Hydrolysis reaction means breaking of the alpha 1 and 4 glycosidic linkage or connection in that polysaccharide so that the amylose and amylopectin will be broken down into a much simpler sugar polymers. In our mouth, starch is only partially hydrolyzed or broken down by the enzyme called amylase into a maltose, maltotriose, and an oligosaccharide called dextrin. Now, remember that amylase enzyme are also made of protein. That is why the alpha amylase enzymes denaturizes in the stomach due to its acidic condition. The stomach acid and enzymes together with the food forms what we call a chyme. The chyme then continues to enter into the small intestine through what we call the duodenum. The pancreas will now release the major enzyme of starch digestion. These enzymes are called the pancreatic amylase. They will further break down those remaining oligosaccharides. Our enzymes have intestinal walls called the lumens. This will allow the polymers or the food to pass through. However, each lumen is made of hair-like objects called the villi. And each villi is composed of cells called enterocytes with a brush-like structures called the microvilli. The function of the microvilli is to produce those brush border enzymes, which are the sucrase, which breaks down sucrose polymers, the maltase, to break down those maltose polymers, and finally, the lactase, which breaks down lactose polymers. The glucose, those were broken down from all of this digestion or chemical digestion, will now cross the membrane of the enterocytes by the active transporter, which we call the glucose transporter proteins or gluts. Then they join into the bloodstream. Once the glucose are already in the bloodstream, these are called the blood sugar or the glucose in the blood. The blood glucose will further into the next step called the glycolysis.